China has so far lent Zimbabwe a billion dollars over the last five years. The country's total foreign debt, including that to the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, now stands at $9 billion. Zimbabwe has had hard time servicing its debts due to a struggling economy. Food inflation, business ownership laws, and sanctions from Western countries are just a few problems affecting the country. Most of the borrowed money goes into infrastructure projects. Economists are saying the government needs a complete overhaul on how it's dealing with the economic challenges. But the argument remains that will the projects be viable? You know, that's our main worry. And if they are viable, it means that taxpayers of Zimbabwe have to be paying for the next 20, 50 years uh, the loan to China. And that is going to stifle, uh, you know, the growth of disposable income for other purposes in Zimbabwe. If you provide... In his 2014 media fiscal policy review statement, Finance Minister Patrick Chinamasa introduced an array of further taxes which economists won might overburden individuals and companies. Chinamasa also said duties on imports will be reviewed. The influx of imports that continues to undermine growth of the agricultural sector and the recovery of the local industry. There's nothing new that will point towards reviving production, towards, the, towards the reviving manufacturing, towards reviving agriculture. Nothing new, no measure has been, has been put in place to try to revive the economy because you cannot ban imports. When your local industry is not yet ready, you actually create shortages. For more than a decade, China has been lending to and investing heavily in Africa. In addition, its companies have been helping build badly needed ports, roads and railways across the continent. The Asian giant also expects its debtors to service the debts right on time. Noel Makubu, CCTV.